Hey guys, welcome back to Com Again. If you're new to the channel, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click on the little bell so you can stay up to date on all our videos. Who is Batman? I could give you the same old spiel about how young Bruce Wayne watched his parents get shot down by a mugger outside a theater. I could also tell you that Bruce Wayne then dedicated his life to training his mind, body, and spirit to become the best in the world in order to battle crime. But that story has been told before, over and over and over again. This is a new story. Today I'm going to tell you the truth of who Batman really is. Let's start with the inspiration behind Batman. In order to do that, we have to take a look at some of the heroes who came before the Caped Crusader. Batman made his first appearance in 1939 with Detective Comics number 27, created by Bob Kane and Bill Finger. So who came before him that helped inspire this pop culture icon? Well, on July 31st, 1930, a mysterious narrator of the Street and Smith radio program, Detective Story Hour, known as The Shadow, debuted, and in print form, The Shadow Magazine, on April 1st, 1931. The Shadow and Batman have shared many adventures through the years in one-shot comics, most recently with 2017's Batman The Shadow from DC Comics and 2017's The Shadow Batman from Dynamite Comics. In many of these stories, Batman admits that The Shadow was some of his earliest inspiration, and in others, The Shadow was actually many of Bruce Wayne's mentors. On February 17, 1936, in a daily newspaper strip, The Phantom debuted. The Phantom was the inspiration behind most superheroes today being drawn with no pupils in their eyes. The original name of the Phantom, according to Lee Folk, was actually the Grey Ghost, which would later become the name of a Batman character. Next up we have Doc Savage, who debuted in the Street and Smith Doc Savage magazine in March of 1933. Doc Savage is a physician, scientist, inventor, explorer, researcher, and musician. A team of scientists assembled by his father, trained his mind and body from birth to near superhuman abilities. This training gave him great strength and endurance, photographic memory, mastery of martial arts, and a vast knowledge of many different sciences. The Spider first appeared in The Spider Volume 1, Number 1, in October of 1933. A millionaire playboy who often ventured into the criminal underworld disguised as small-time hood Blinky McQuaid. The spider held a badge of inspector under the name Rupert Barton in Scotland Yard and the rank of lieutenant in the FBI. Harry Houdini was a real-life inspiration for Batman as a master illusionist, stunt performer, and escape artist. Houdini was born March 24, 1874. Houdini was also a legendary skeptic and questioned everything which appeared to be paranormal and became the scourge of fake spiritualists everywhere. Tarzan was another of Batman's inspirations from fiction. Tarzan first appeared in the novel Tarzan of the Apes in 1912. Tarzan is the son of a British lord and lady who were marooned on the Atlantic coast of Africa by mutineers. His mother dies while he was an infant, and his father was killed by the leader of the ape tribe that Tarzan was adopted by. Sherlock Holmes, in which most of Batman's detective skills were inspired by, first appeared in a study in Scarlet in 1887 by Sir Arthur Conan Doyle. It is said that Sherlock Holmes is the world's greatest detective, and if that's so, it would make Batman the world's second greatest. The Black Bat first appeared in Black Bat Detective Mysteries between 1933 and 1934, and a second Black Bat debuted in July of 1939, in which he shared similar costume designs as Batman, but completely inspired Batman's scallops on his gloves, as Bob Kane 
fully admitted. The Black Bat also inspired the origin story for one of Batman's greatest enemies, Two-Face. But that's a story for another day. With that being said, who do you think was the biggest influence on the creation and evolution of Batman? In the Golden Age, Batman was written in a pulp comic style. He showed little remorse when dealing out his form of justice, and oftentimes killed criminals. Even going so far as to carry a gun, which has been completely done away with since, and has even began going by a no-kill rule. In the 1950s, Batman stories became more science fiction oriented. In the 1960s, Batman became a member of Justice League of America in the Brave and the Bold number 28 of February 1960. By 1964, sales of the Batman fell drastically, and as a result, DC nearly killed off Batman completely. But editor Julia Schwartz was assigned to the Batman titles and presided over the drastic changes over the character which began in 1964's Detective Comics number 327. It was here that Batman returned to his detective origins, space aliens, time travels, and 50s characters such as Batwoman and Batmite fell out of favor and thus disappeared completely from the titles. In 1966, Batman received a new, campy redesign for the Adam West television series and thus had a profound effect on the comic books as well. The birth of the modern age Batman started with Frank Miller's limited series The Dark Knight Returns between February and June of 1986. With this interpretation of the character also brought about a return to older, darker elements to Batman. The Dark Knight Returns inspired the 1989 Batman movie directed by Tim Burton and starring Michael Keaton, which in turn inspired a darker tone for all Batman properties that followed. It was after the movie Batman Returns in which Bruce Timm's Batman the Animated Series brought the most profound changes to the Batman character and franchises, from a complete revamp of Mr. Freeze's origin to the creation of great long-lasting characters like Harley Quinn and even helping to rebrand the Joker. Batman's primary character traits can be summarized as wealth, physical prowess, deductive abilities, and obsession. The driving force behind Bruce Wayne's character is his parents' murder and their absence. Bob Kane and Bill Finger discussed Batman's background and decided that there's nothing more traumatic than having your parents murdered before your eyes. Despite his trauma, he sets his mind on studying to become a scientist and to train his body into physical perfection to fight crime in Gotham City as the Batman. An inspired idea from Wayne's insight into the criminal mind. Batman is often treated as a vigilante by other characters in his stories. Frank Miller viewed the character as a Dionysian figure, a force for anarchy that imposes an individual order dressed as a bat. Batman deliberately cultivates a frightening persona in order to aid him in crime fighting, a fear that originates from the criminal's own guilty conscience. There you have it guys, our breakdown of who Batman really is none other than the combination of the shadow the spider the black bat doc savage tarzan harry houdini the phantom and sherlock holmes for more information on these characters you can find videos on the shadow the phantom and the black bat right here on comic Gen tv you can follow their adventures in the pages of dc comics moonstone comics and more recently dynamite entertainment and as I said before, guys, if you like this video, make sure you smash that subscribe button and click the little bell to receive notifications on all our upcoming videos. Hit the like button, make sure to leave us a comment so we know how you felt about the video. And don't forget to share with your family and friends. Until next time, I'm Shannon for Comic where all geek culture collides.